Hello. Hello. From Lubnian. Uh, from your favorite artist electronist here. I say again, from your favorite artist electronist. <laughs> uh, I had to repair some of this. And you probably, you are wondering what is all of this, all these wires, uh, all these circuits that I have here. And they appear not to be that many, and probably they are not many, but it was probably double the size of this. And a lot of, uh, let's say, garbage circuits. I was actually not really willing to, to show all of this because, uh, well, they look like shit, <laughs> pretty much. Look at this, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Uh, but they uh, actually you, you can make the, the distinction uh, which are very old and which are new so this is probably also old uh, all these circuits here are, are probably more new uh, like four, five years new ish and uh, here are the old stuff here they this old stuff that I have I, I thought about it and I really didn't want to show them uh, I kept them into a box uh, with uh, my beginnings into electronics pretty much and uh, it's a lot of history, a lot of stories. Uh, I will try to be as short as possible. I hope you, want, you will understand the, my beginnings pretty much. Mostly an adolescent, not even an adolescent, actually a child. When I started into electronics, uh, 10 years old, nobody, absolutely nobody around me helped me with electronics. Absolutely no one. Uh, I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have a, a, a person like in family or, or a neighbor or something. No one, absolutely no one that could introduce me into the electronics. and. Uh, I was, uh, like every child, I was uh, ripping apart a lot of toys, tools uh, in the kitchen, uh, the mixer, the blender, the whatever. Uh, they were pretty rare back then uh, when I was a child. <coughs> they weren't so abundant like they are uh, today. Uh, but uh, some of them uh, got broken and, um, uh, and I literally put my hand on it and I said to my mom or to my dad, uh, this is broken, this is not working. Do you want it? What do you do? What do you want to do with it? And they were saying either I will go to, to a repair shop uh, with it to see if it's, if it can be repaired, uh, if it was too expensive, or if it wasn't th that expensive. Uh, sometimes I got lucky and they give it to me. And uh, sometimes I was stealing <laughs> stuff, electronic stuff, uh, not, not really electronics, the, the device itself, uh, take it apart. And I was so curious why it's working. I remember some toys, not small ones, the big ones. Uh, uh, they, they had a lot of electronics and I was amazed. Uh, and back then they were doing it with uh, through whole components, uh, not with SMD components like it is today. Suffice to say that when I was a child, uh, I had, I put my hands uh, on a couple of toys and uh, uh, they were having electronics inside them. And I was pretty fascinated how they were working. And I asked everyone and literally no one was being able to tell me how they are working, why they are working, what they are containing inside, what the components were. Uh, uh, they didn't even know what a transistor is or a resistor. A few, very few people probably knew. And uh, I didn't have access to those people. Uh, and I had to learn by myself everything. And uh, that's what I'm uh, having here. Uh, this is not really from the childhood, what I'm having here. Probably one or two, a couple, a couple of them. With my computer, I finished my faculty and everything. I, I was starting to be a teacher in the first year of being a teacher. And uh, I got access to internet. And uh, one of the first circuits that I put my hands on was the flip-flop uh, circuit. Uh, a stable, I believe it's called, a stable flip-flop. This one, uh, with the two LEDs, uh, two, transist two transistors, two capacitors, and four resistors, pretty much. Uh, I'm not sure, no, I don't have the wires for this one, and this one is missing <laughs> the base. But I have a couple of them. Don't ask me why I uh, I made a few of them. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, before I forget, everything that you are seeing here is made on a cardboard. It's called San George. San George was a cigarette package, <laughs> and the cardboard from that San George, it was extraordinarily good for building everything. And I really like the, the, the feeling of this uh, cardboard. It was very thin very thin cardboard and quite strong. And that's why it was my preferred. And everything I have here, absolutely everything on this one, but absolutely everything is on that cardboard from the cigarettes packages, San George, it was called, <laughs> from Russians. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not sure if it was from Russia, it was from Ukraine, but we were saying it from Russia. Uh, it was from Ukraine, uh, they were uh, sending uh, cigarettes here, uh, contraband cigarettes. And also every, absolutely everything that I have from those times, it was, you see, St. George, it says here, signed, <laughs> St. George, <laughs> absolutely everything. Okay, that's it. Uh, before uh, I, I forget this uh, interesting and funny detail. Also this one, also, George, it says, it says there, George, <laughs> St. George. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> let me actually show you, I had to repair a couple of them because they were all together <laughs> mashed into a pile, pretty much, of circuits. This uh, circuits uh, represents my beginnings, my starting into electronics. Actually, I wanted more than electronics. Let's see, is this working or is it not working? Uh, it's only having only one LED here. Is, uh, this is not good. I have to repair it. And uh, this is, I know, this is also not good. I believe this one I repair it. It wasn't good. Uh, yeah, it's good. Now it's good because I, I just repair it. Um, I, I repair a lot of stuff actually. <laughs> a couple of them. And it's working uh, fine. This is the classic chocolate flip flop. And I built a couple of them. I don't know. I was fascinated. I wanted to, to understand it better. I wanted to, to actually to modify it to serve other purposes than the simple 
flip flopping like that. I I didn't. I was trying to reinvent to, to invent something using it using the already chickpea that it was working. I wanted uh, different permutations. I was playing pretty much. I was playing with the chickpea. Uh, as and also as you can see, these are the beginnings of working with this uh, metallic straps on the cardboards. Uh, these are pretty much the very first prototypes that I built uh, using cardboards. This actually it was a decision uh, that I decided. These are the first chickpea boards that I decided to to build everything on cardboards. And uh, because it was uh, very, extremely cheap, extremely cheap for me to, to build everything. And most importantly, to test and figure out how things works, uh, why, and also to learn uh, a lot of components I learned, uh, their be, the behavior, a uh, great mystery was a, a, an LED, a simple LED, it was a great mystery for me. I burned numerous LEDs uh, because I, I didn't believe, I didn't understood every LED must have a, a resistor uh, to limit its uh, current rate, it's, it's a current uh, dependent uh, component, and uh, I didn't really believe it is like that. And uh, and after after I, I, I burned sufficient, LEDs, then I decided uh, in my mind, I, I said, that's it, no more. I, will <laughs> I don't want to burn uh, more uh, LEDs because I, I want to use them properly. And in that moment, actually, it switched something in my mind. And from that moment, I was like that all the time. I tried to find the proper way of uh, driving pretty much everything. And I was in search of, of finding how to properly drive everything. doesn't matter if it's a LED, if it's a transistor or an integrated circuit. And that was a very, very interesting lesson. I hope you are learning something with me here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I also build... Um, Textolith is called uh, in, my, in my language. The classical boards that you etched in uh, in acid, you know, and you etch, you, you draw the, the the track and you etch, you, you you put it into a bath of uh, acid and you let the, uh, the non-marked uh, track to to be etched or eaten by by acid. And uh, when you take it out, you wash it with water. I believe it was alcohol to to clean the marker that was on top uh, and uh, of the track and pretty much make the tracks. I I built a couple of them, not many, like two. I don't know probably 10 in my entire life. <laughs> uh, I've also used uh, a knife, a pointy knife, to actually scratch the boards that I wanted a, a track on, on them. And uh, it was a lot of work uh, that way. It was looking nice, it was looking uh, professional and everything, but I decided that I want it faster. I want it faster, not hard to make it. Although everything I'm making, it is quite hard. Uh, cutting, uh, bending, positioning, and making the circuit, and then uh, fitting every, every pad, uh, metallic pad that I have here, on the proper location. It's quite hard, but it's Comp comparable with uh, doing it with acid and with... Uh, I, I try to avoid that, uh, you know, to do it with uh, conventional way, pretty much. And I, I really didn't like it, to be absolutely sincere. Uh, I wished, I really wished a machine to make it for me, you know, to like a CNC and to scribe it, uh, to root it, I, I believe. It, uh, having a Dremel and uh, this is uh, making the tracks, uh, like, uh, you know, automatically. I was dreaming on, on such a machine when I was very young. <coughs> so uh, back to the, the circuits in hand that I, I'm having here. A lot of history, like I said, a lot, of, a lot to say, a lot of, to explain. I have a couple of them. I actually had a quite a lot of them, and I didn't uh, get that knowledge that I wanted. I, I know how it's working, the, the explanation of, of the circuit, I, I understand it well, from uh, from how others were explaining it, and uh, I've read it uh, numerous time, times until I um, I properly understood it after that. It didn't. I didn't really uh, understood it by myself, what I wanted to understand. I hope it is, it is making some sense, what I'm saying, uh, you know, to, to really, really get the idea, and I don't think, yeah, unbelievable, this is working, yeah? Yeah, like that. I, I just felt something come loose. Yeah, this is also working, which is pretty nice. I really like these LEDs. Very, very cool. I think I scrapped them. I didn't buy them. Yeah, this is also a flip-flop, which is working, unbelievably. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting, a very interesting flip-flop here. Um, as you may notice, uh, on every uh, normal circuit here, I'm having these resistors here and these resistors here. So, four resistors in total. Two in the middle and two on the sides, okay? Uh, but here, I'm, ha I'm having no resistors, absolutely no resistors here. I'm having, though, these potentiometers, these two potentiometers, which are linked in the middle. Here and here, uh, somewhere there. But here, from this capacitor to the LED is not a, is not a, any resistor. You see, like here. Here is a resistor from from the pin of the LED to the pin of the capacitor and also the transistor. Uh, and it's not such uh, such a LED, but it's still working. And I, I will demonstrate it. Actually, this was damaged. Uh, it was uh, not uh, not that one. And now it will not work probably because I, they are quite sensitive. They are not that sensitive, but uh, I hope I hope it will. It didn't broke. Oh yeah, it resisted. All right. So this is uh, quite interesting. Uh, probably this this some of the, the circuits that I have are also my first experience with SMD components. So these two yellow guys here are uh, capacitors, and these are two whole uh, transistors. But where are the resistors? The resistors are under this uh, small uh, square board that I'm having here, and they are SMD. But I I uh, I uh, solder them from the other side on these two pads. I have a very small pad on the leg of the LED there, and also there exactly the we did. Of the leg of the and you, when you look from from this side uh you 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 cannot really see that pad that the leg is soldered onto it's very devious circuit 
<laughs> very, very difficult circuit. But I have from that very extremely thin pad from there to this capacitor is an SMD uh, resistor that is on the other side, beneath uh, on the lateral side. And that's how it's uh, done. And also, it's very interesting that it is uh, variable. Uh, that's that was the point of this uh, circuit. Like I said, uh, I was testing a lot of, uh, you know, you see now it's it's changed uh, a little bit. It's slower. Now it's faster. And uh, this is a uh, rare. Here in the middle is quite rare. Come on. And it's it's a very bad. Uh, uh, design like this with the resistors on the back uh, because okay uh, this being on cardboard uh, the, ca the cardboard is flexing a little bit is bending and this uh, if uh, let me so if this is a resistor here and the cardboard is bending uh, I don't know how to show you so it's bending like this is actually uh, dragging the, the solder from the component uh, pin out when, when the cardboard is bending like this and uh, they are not that the SMD components are not that the, the pins of them are not that good are not that strong to keep that pressure from the cardboard when it's flexing like that and uh, it's not a good uh, idea to to make them on cardboard and put them uh, on the other side it's working i repair it two times actually <laughs> and it's the same problem uh, it's the problem of, uh, of that um, uh, resistors on the back uh, but it is an interesting uh, circuit after all so it's, it's another flip-flop <laughs> uh, i don't have i have no idea what uh, what is this okay let's see if this is working i doubt it but uh, let's try it unbelievable it's working <laughs> unbelievable it's working and this is how it it was designed. Not probably to work. Yes, I believe when I was um, new, very new to electronics, I was having the conception, the idea to keep the legs long as they are coming. You know, uh, if the component is coming with with long legs, I will solder them, not cutting them. And I was like I said, I I learned uh, alone all this stuff. I never nobody teach me anything, and. Uh, all the people that I was asking about electronics, uh, they were laughing on me at me uh, because I, I was an artist. That's why, and uh, he, they were saying, you, "You have no chance to learn this stuff, and uh, you are too stupid for 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 elevated uh, knowledge like this electronics uh, field." Uh, and that uh, inf infuriated me, of course. And those were idiots uh, that I was talking with back then. And uh, I kind of, I've always had an attraction towards electronics. Uh, I, I've, I've seen how pra practical can be uh, sometimes. It can be extremely practical, but uh, in all that I did, I couldn't get that practical feeling like I was seeing in other product, products, you know? And I wanted all my life to be practical. I want to believe I am a little bit more practical with my circuits that I'm building. That's the entire reason of making electronics, at least for me, to make uh, practical stuff and actually to, to use it in my benef uh, benefits, to actually be happy to have something that uh, not uh, many people can afford and uh, to have something special, uh, customized, uh, made for me. That, that was the entire reason why I wanted to make electronics. And I'm showing you all this shit <laughs> that I'm having here. So I don't think it's the entire circuit. I believe it was uh, having some other components. This is uh, only the board. Uh, and this is called LM3915 is the chip. It's a bar display driver, probably. Uh, and probably it is working. <laughs> this is negative. No, I believe it uh, It needs a potentiometer somewhere on, or, 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 a, or a clock to actually see all these LEDs running or working. Ah, oh, and voila, <laughs> another flip-flop. Uh, and this is also not working for some reasons. I have no idea why, but hey, voila. Hey, 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 it's working. I have two capacitors here and here. And it's, uh, sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not working. Yeah, it's. I, I was uh, a bit fascinated by, by flip-flops and I have a bunch of them. Don't ask me, ask me why I built so many. I mean, I, I've already said to really, really understand it. It is a, this is also a flip-flop. This is a flip-flop board, actually. I think I had 50 of them, I believe, or 20, 20 or 50, uh, only printed. And, and then, and then I put, uh, I started to make the pads and I, I made, probably I made 10 of them with all the corrected pads. And I, I made only one, but I don't have it anymore. And what I tried uh, with this flip-flop, I was trying to make something commercial with it. Just a flip-flop alone. I have no idea what was the, the thinking, uh, what I was planning, how I was trying to sell this flip-flop. I, I remember I was I was struggling with ideas how to sell it. Uh, I was searching new ideas, uh, how to lie about it, uh, saying it's it's detecting something like, uh, I don't know, bad uh, fields of if, if the, the circuit was oscillating faster or slower. I was trying to bullshit pretty much. Uh, I was young, I was uh, very, very young, and I was trying to, um, to, to make something practical and also commercial and uh, to sell uh, pretty much. And whatever, uh, means you know to sell uh, but i didn't 
I couldn't sell anything. I've only made the boards. I've only put the tracks, the these pads that I have for a, a few of them. I built only one fully <laughs> uh, workable. It was working fine. And uh, I didn't actually go to the on the, that road of actually selling them on the uh, I believe I asked one or two people and all of uh, no, no, a couple of people actually I've asked and all of them they they said get the fuck out of here <laughs> and I I, uh, I was I was uh, aware uh, I will not be able to bullshit anybody I was aware uh, but I tried it anyway and uh, it was an experience bad one that I couldn't uh, you know succeed but it was an interesting idea and uh, that's the story behind this board only one remained from those times and uh, yeah, well, this, uh, let's see if I'm seeing other flip flops because <laughs> I have a ton of them. <laughs> now I'm laughing, but these were the playing grounds. These are my playing grounds with flip flops. And this is not working at all. For some reason, I don't care right now. Ah, it's a capacitor here. I'm not, uh, <laughs> it got off. I didn't see it. Okay, so this is not working at, as well. well. Let's see, other fucking flip flops here. No, that's it. That's it with the flip flops. Fucking flip flops. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are my beginnings. They are absolutely my beginnings. And also the most important thing is uh, uh, when I decided to to go on the path of doing everything on cardboard. St. George cardboard <laughs> from cigarettes. I was smoking back then. Uh, this is very interesting uh, arrangement. I have four transistors here. And uh, I put a piece of cardboard. I bend it, it and glue it to everything to keep them in line and in place. Very, very interesting uh, design idea. And this is another uh, design idea. Very, very cool. I really like it. Uh, also cardboard that is bent here. And it's all around this uh, plug. I don't know how it's called in English. And this, I put the, the wires from here to, um, I believe it was some resistors here or, or only wires. I don't remember exactly. And I, I took out a lot of wires uh, from a lot of stuff that I had before. And like I said, this is probably half of what I had uh, when I started uh, to get into the, the old stuff that I had and to clean it up. And, to, and I'm uh, putting aside uh, some stuff uh, from my old, very old days, my beginnings. I'm putting them aside and repair them. Uh, most of them, they, they needed, uh, they needed repairment, and uh, but also I want to to liberate the, the shit that I did. I had a lot, a lot of ugly, extremely ugly. Do you see this shit? <laughs> I, I'm keeping it just for laugh, uh, just for laughing on it. Do you see how many wires this shit is having there, and how how unbelievable, how shitty is everything? Ah, uh, and I, I was having like a blob, uh, you know, like a blob of, of wires and everything. It, those were the nastier circuits, and unbelievable how I was working. But that that's the the, the idea is. When you see something like this, right, that is pretty recent made, uh, you know, uh, it took me experience. It took me experience to 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 decide how clean I want it, how good I want it, uh, and um, it's this this is experience. This is experience. I know it's laughable. I'm laughing on it, and I have no idea how to even power it. <laughs> Where the fuck is the positive or negative rail? I have no idea. It's having three transistors here, one big one and two small ones here. I have no idea what it's doing. But it's ugly as fuck. Uh, I had even uglier and I had to take out and probably I will dismantle everything and recuperate the components and the wires uh, like I did already. Uh, let me show you. Uh, these are the wires from the other boards, other shit that, that I had so far. Uh, okay, back to this guy. Uh, that's the, the that's why I'm keeping it. Uh, I also, it's having a metallic, I believe it's having a metallic pad to strengthen it. No, 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 it's only cardboard. But I know I was building on, uh, I was putting metal uh, shit, uh, but I don't see. Yeah, here. You see, this is a uh, piece of metal and I glue this cardboard on the piece of metal. And uh, this is quite a long time ago made. Before, the, you see, uh, they actually made it like I made it a long time ago, but they made this uh, LEDs on, on the on the aluminum. But I was doing it way longer before, I don't know in what year I, I built this specific one, but I was playing, I, I wanted to be uh, stiff, extremely stiff, not to bend, the cardboard was bendable. And when it's bendable, it's cracking the, the solder, uh, especially when it's having so many stuff on it. And uh, in time I learned how to manipulate and uh, how careful to be with with cardboard uh, circuits. So I, I have a, a smooth or easy hand when I'm when I'm uh, uh, touching and manipulating cardboard uh, circuits. Uh, I'm not brutal with them, you know. I, I'm, I'm careful with them. But this guy, I wanted it to be very very strong, and that's why that's that was the reason to mount it uh, this cardboard uh, circuit here on the metallic sheet that is providing a lot of strength here. I believe this is, was an amplifier, and this is a uh, you plug it in somewhere. But I, I believe in USB. You plug it in USB, and uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, the USB was for five volts. <laughs> I was powering this uh, device from five volts from USB here, and uh, this jack was going the fuck if I know. Here, I believe, I believe this was an amplifier for, for headphones, I think, and this guy here was going into, uh, the the audio input, so the audio was cycling through this circuit here, and from here I was plugging in the headphones, and uh, probably it was louder, and uh, most probably I was some wires somewhere coming out, but now they are not here anymore. Uh, and with a potentiometer. 
I believe it was another board here somewhere uh, outside. But that's uh, this is the history of this guy here. And it worked, but for a very brief time, I don't know what happened. I will use it. I use it and I decided not to use it anymore. I don't remember why. Absolutely, I don't remember why. Ah, here, here I, I marked positive and negative. <laughs> this is made from wood and it's uh, absolutely brilliant. And it's working. It's, it's, and it's very, uh, absolutely, it's fitting excellent into the uh, USB, uh, you know, uh, socket or plug. Yeah, very, very interesting uh, device here. I like it. This I discussed it already. This one also I discussed it. Uh, this is a very interesting device. Uh, this was uh, the most practical uh, circuit that uh, I built it in my very, very, very beginnings when I didn't know absolutely anything about uh, electronic circuits. I wanted something complex, more complex. And I started to understand, I believe it was in the, my beginnings when I started to understand the circuits, the electronic circuits. And this is actually a, a device for deaf, deaf people. Pretty much this is a microphone. This is an amplifier for the microphone. And this is a potentiometer here that I scrapped from somewhere. And this, you put the, the headphones, or better said, I put only one uh, head, uh, headphone because uh, uh, it was a mono, only one, only single one. And I believe this guy is mono as well. I don't think it's stereo. It is a... Uh, Plug, uh, plug in, uh, and, uh, and this is power from here. Probably in here, I have no idea. Uh, the, the, the circuit is not working anymore, but I'm still keeping it because it was one of my first uh, practical, extremely practical, and I actually use it quite a lot. Uh, it was extremely, extremely good. Uh, I could hear uh, extremely uh, low noises uh, from very far away. Um, it's not directional, unfortunately. It's quite wide. And you can, if you if you point it towards something, is actually hearing everything <laughs> around. Uh, it's not that uh, directional. I wished, I really wished it was more directional to actually point it somewhere. And uh, but I think it was having some directionality. It was general, every everything. Even my breath, I was hearing it <sighs> like in Star Wars. <coughs> uh, absolutely amazing uh, circuit. I really love it. And it was very good. Uh, I was uh, dreaming to spy uh, stuff, and I didn't. <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> Uh, okay, it helped me actually. It helped me uh, listening to some uh, interesting conversations, uh, one or two, not many, uh, in my kitchen <laughs> between my parents. <laughs> uh, no, this is a, absolutely a miracle that is still staying. Everything here. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> this is a catastrophe. Uh, this is actually working. And uh, let me actually, I, uh, I uh, repair it a little bit. I didn't repair much of it. It was one or two a wire, it was loosened. I hope you can hear it. It's not that good. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not working. I have to bend it around or touch it. Yeah, here. Uh -huh. Let's see. Come on, work, motherfucker. Yeah, it's kind of working. If I'm touching it here, and if I'm increasing the voltage, now it's 10 volts, it's a bit louder. Yeah, that's all that is doing. It's creating a sound uh, through this uh, uh, piezoelectric uh, device. And uh, it's very, very interesting that this piezoelectric device, I can hear it with my ears and you could hear it as well. And uh, let me back down to five volts here. I have uh, other uh, smaller uh, piezoelectric uh, components like this, very, like this small, like, I don't know, two centimeters uh, di diameter, and uh, those I cannot hear shit on them. But on this uh, very big one, I can hear it. It's in, the, it's in our audible range, which is absolutely cool, very, very cool. But it's very uh, low uh, intensity, it's not that loud. I believe it's, it needs uh, like a socket, like an enchanter, uh, you know, like a room, a little room to actually amplify the, the sound. I don't know how to make that kind of stuff, but it's, it's working. I believe that is a 555 there. Uh, this absolutely, have, I have no idea what I was doing here. I believe, I believe this was, uh, I was receiving a signal, a radio signal, and how bent, how I was bending this wire, this was a very interesting circuit actually, uh, how I was bending, making wider this wire here, uh, I was getting a certain fre frequency. I was on, on a specific frequency or or outside that frequency. Uh, very, very uh, small uh, tweaks I had to bending on this wire and I was getting a lot of frequency. Don't ask me, uh, most probably this is a, a little piece from a bigger circuit uh, that was doing the output, uh, but uh, it was interesting. I keep it here. I have no idea how to use it right now because I don't have the circuit diagram anymore, only the San George <laughs> uh, cardboard uh, that it was building, but it was interesting. It was interesting. That's why I keep it uh, just as a memory, you know. Uh, this is very nice, uh, the wiring that I did here. Uh, this this long uh, thing was the intention of it was to uh, to make it as a testing. This is a testing board and use this chip. What is this chip? UAA 180. I hope you can see. Yeah, you can see UAA 180. You see there. 
1204, but not 1204, that maybe still holds. And for or and five, five, 400 milliamps, probably. I don't know. I believe well, it's an amplifier for audio. I have no idea. But this was a testing board. And I, I believe I, I was changing the chips, not only this specific chip. I was changing other chips as well. And I was trying to make uh, a prototyping board, pretty much. Very interesting uh, little thing. Very, very, very interesting little thing. And I could actually put uh, smaller chips here. And from here, I was inserting wires and dragging the wires to where I wanted to test uh, whatever I wanted to test. And I believe this is the power. Yeah, the, the problem uh, is <laughs> you have to match. Uh, the pins of the specific chip that you're putting it here. Usually it's like this here and here, I think. No? Positive and negative, usually. On uh, any other circuit, uh, integrated circuit, especially on logic circuits. Let me actually check. Yeah, you see, on pin 16 and uh, 8, negative and positive, and a lot of uh, others are like that. All right, uh, that's nice. Um, this is, I uh, have no idea what this is. But definitely one of my first uh, circuit boards as well. Uh, this is not on a cardboard. This is uh, made on a piece of plastic, but I very quickly learned that plastic, uh, when it melts, is also enlarging the hole. So if you insert a wire, a hot wire into the plastic, it's not only staying the diameter of the wire that you inserted, and it's not catching the wire. The plastic is not melting around the wire and, and catching it. Uh, it's also delay expanding from the heat of the wire is expanding and it's creating an even larger hole and the wire is just falling through that hole. And that was the lesson uh, building directly on plastic. And this, uh, what I'm having here, I believe it's, it is a usable uh, circuit. It is two transistors with some Wicked wiring there that is not even connected. And this is a photo, this is a transistor that I cut the head and I converted it into a photo resistor, photo transistor, photo diode, a photo diode. Uh, that is uh, when you point it to the light, it's catching the light, and uh, these two transistors here are amplifying the signal and beating the LED. So this is, uh, and this, all these are uh, my neutral quits that are still working. Let me bring them here. Uh, this is for 220 volts, I put 220 volts here, and I, I can uh, lit up uh, those, uh, this kind of uh, LEDs that I scrap. You know, and they are good, and I believe four or three or four I can lit with only one circuit like this. Depends uh, on the capacitor as well. If you are putting a larger capacitor uh, in a microfarads uh, size. Actually, this is not microfarads, this is uh, 100, 104, 100 nanofarads. But if you put 200, <coughs> 500, even one microfarad, uh, you can drive uh, way more, uh, a number of uh, many more LEDs, uh, power, high power LEDs for, for illumination. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, super bright LEDs, times four, at 220 volts. Uh, alternative here. This is the new generation of uh, uh, cardboard uh, circuits. You can see some difference from how I was building back then and how I'm building uh, uh, today. It is an experience how to, to deal with all of this. This is a um, frequency divider using a 555 circuit here. One uh, times 100. So 100 times lower than the input frequency, you get a uh, one times uh, 100 times a lower frequency on the output. And it's very, very interesting circuit. I really like it. And uh, I cannot test it. For you to see it. Uh, this is working actually, it's a PWM MOSFET driver with 555, it says there. Uh, let me co correctly plug in. Uh, it's, it's only dim, uh, dimming uh, the, so PWM MOSFET driver with 555. You see this very little black thing here? That's the MOSFET. <laughs> it's a very, very small. And from uh, somewhere here, probably, you can see it is dimming. Yep, yeah, yeah, you see. And it's PWM, PWM dimming it. And this is not, uh, you can see it on oscilloscope. Ah, yeah, yeah, you can see it. This is very dim. This is a bit more brighter, a little bit more brighter. But let me leave it like that. And when I'm switching this guy here, it's a bit more. It's not a very big difference because it's not that uh, clear difference uh, when you see this LED here. It is and it isn't because these are extremely efficient LEDs, extremely efficient. And they are changing, but not really. <laughs> they should, they should have. I have, I probably must think on another specific circuit how to actually make them more visible, uh, uh, you know, uh, lowering the intensity uh, when, when I'm changing the, the trims, the potentiometers here. So we're not very old. But I built so many things from from this uh, thing, uh, from when I when I built this thing. It's powered with five volts. It says there. I made this also uh, this case from from cardboard. Inside is a PIC microcontroller from microchip, uh, 12F F uh, 508. And when I'm pressing, it's letting uh, you see different colors by every press. I believe it was seven modes, and uh, <laughs> it's a very very nice project. Very very cool project. I really like it. I didn't copy it from any from anywhere. I, I invented, I thought of it, and uh, uh, I was getting help on the code uh, for the PIC microcontroller uh, from the guys from uh, Microchip Forums, uh, which some of them uh, are helping, but the majority of them are, are unwilling to help. They, are, uh, they will make you regret asking questions on their forums. I'm not sure if it's an American thing. I believe it is. If, if they catch you, you are not American, uh, you are screwed. If you are very good at uh, speaking uh, in English and uh, conversating, they will not really no, if you are American or not, and if they see you are not, Amer if they see you are American, they will help you like absolutely fantastic help. Uh, my hat is down. But if they they see you are Romanian or from whatever country, even from England probably, if you are, uh, they will fuck you 
like big time. Uh, they will they, instead of helping you, they will uh, make you regret uh, asking questions on their forum, and uh, you will you, you will leave from their from their forums with a very hard uh, heart, and um, it's not a pleasant experience uh, at all. And uh, they they are nasty, extremely nasty uh, people. Uh, if they discover you are not American, <laughs> that's the only thing, you know. And in a, in a way, it make it makes sense. Uh, this I had to repair it. I had no idea what I did here. Uh, so on-off button using JK flip-flop uh, 4027 on is just like this. This is the button here. Is a wire, <laughs> is a wire that is bent like this and is touching this uh, pad here, longer pad, which is the positive. And when I'm making the contact with the positive, this is switching to on or off the LED. I had to repair it a little bit because I had some problems uh, with it, but now it's working. It should work absolutely fine, and it's functioning properly, pretty much. But this circuit actually worked absolutely fine, absolutely fine, and, I, and I'm using it. Uh, you see, uh, uh, fucker. I don't know what's gonna. Now it's working good, but not all the time. I don't know what, why. Oh yeah, yeah. Now it's absolutely working, absolutely fine. It's having some issues. Huh. Probably when I'm touching the, I'm coupling the positive and negative. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. See. <laughs> Do you like my button that I have there? <laughs> this is the button. A wire that is bent and it's touching. That's the button. It's not that I don't have buttons. I have a lot of buttons actually. Uh, but this is uh, comical. It's uh, yeah. and now it's working fine. I don't know why. It wasn't working in the beginning when I did the test, but it's working absolutely fine. It was really working absolutely fine all the time uh, before, but uh, now when I'm filming, it's fucking around. Uh, okay, this here, this here, as you can see, is a matchstick. <laughs> it's a circuit that is using a matchstick. This matchstick is a is a, a resistance of one mega ohm, I believe, or ten mega ohm, ten or one hundred mega ohms. It's an extremely big resistance. Uh, it's very extremely low current is passing. And what I did, I, I put there a pin. I put a, a little bit of wire that I, I, I press it into the middle of this matchstick, and then I took it out and soldered it there. And also here, and voila, I have a component with two wires that I inserted forcefully into this matchstick. And uh, this here is a I believe is a MOSFET. Yeah, it's a MOSFET. It's called uh, called 2N7002. It's a MOSFET, and it's uh, this circuit board was made for sensing my hand. On the uh, you know, and from here, from this green wire, this was the signal, and here is plus and minus, positive and negative. Oh, let me actually show you. And it's also having a SMD LED there. It's a very, very cool circuit. I really like it. Is it? And if I'm touching the the matchstick, if I was doing this, yeah, yeah, probably something is moving. <laughs> it's not making contact. But I got when I was uh, dragging my finger on the on the matchstick, uh, that LED was lower lowering its intensity and uh, heightening. But now it's on off, on off. Very quickly, uh, which is uh, not what I wanted to show you. It does a cool, yeah. It's a, if I'm touching the gate of this, uh, uh, this is the gate here, this pad, and if I'm touching it, it's lifting up. But this uh, resistor here, uh, this matchstick was doing that uh, sensing, you know. Uh, but it, uh, actually, this is a bad circuit uh, here that I'm having. It's a very bad circuit. Yeah, you see, uh, a little bit, a little bit. Come on, you kind of come on, investor. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, motherfucker. No, no, no. Oh, it's having uh, moments. Oh, this is it. <coughs> this is it. This is it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see. So what I'm doing, I'm touching the the matchstick, and it's kind of uh, variating the. But the transistor is not good. It's is uh, is damaged. It's very damaged. Uh, but it's doing uh, you know it's doing some interesting stuff as it is. I've already discussed this circuit yet <laughs> some other times. These are new circuits that I'm having, and I, I have movies about them. Uh, and they are not uh, new circuits. They, they, uh, they, these are uh, very old, quite old, and I already made movies with them. Uh, this is a MOSFET dimmer. I was trying to to drive, actually not the same MOSFET, uh, it's something else here. Uh, this big black thing is a diode here. This is the MOSFET here. This is a resistor. And here is a resistor and an LED. And the diode is pointing towards the plus, the positive, uh, for uh, if I'm connecting a motor here. I believe here and here. Uh, for, for other uh, tests, you know. But, but by itself, as you can see, like that. By itself, it is actually dimming quite nicely. <laughs> very, very nicely is dimming the LED, uh, which is a very is a brand new LED. You see how dim I can make it. Like that. It's, it's barely a point. It's a... And I can bring it to full uh, intensity. I believe it's full intensity, uh, or close to full intensity. If it's not the real full intensity, uh, probably it, it can be a bit more in, uh, intense than this. But it's good enough. It's good enough. I mean, for the linearity. Of it, it's pretty nice. I really like it. Usually, this is a bad circuit. Actually, you don't drive uh, anything through a MOSFET like this. But it is working. And what I'm doing, I'm variating the voltage. Actually, I'm variating the voltage on the gate of the MOSFET. This is a, a 
resistor to ground to always keep it uh, off. And uh, the voltage that is variating, uh, variated through this uh, potentiometer on that gate. Uh, pretty much that's the whole circuit. It's a very, but you, you, don't, you don't actually drive MOSFETs this way. This is, uh, uh, from what I've understood, uh, they will overheat very quickly and uh, damaged. And you can burn the MOSFET this way. So uh, with this potentiometer, you don't uh, vary the, the current through the gate of the MOSFET. You vary the voltage on the gate of the uh, MOSFET. That's the, the principle. And how much voltage you, you put on the gate, uh, you get the intensity that is passing through the... Um, drain and source of the MOSFET. But uh, like I said, this is not the proper way of doing it. Uh, actually, a MOSFET you either is is most most of the time and usually is used as an on-off switch, either plus 5 volts or negative 0 volts, and that's it. And if you want uh, to to make a dimmer, you have to use PWM, like I used here, and uh, which is not actually working that well uh, for this. Uh, I don't know. I, I will have to, to find another way of uh, doing it. Uh, I'm not really an expert, but I, I got other LEDs or maybe other circuits, uh, very similar to this. But I, I've inserted other component uh, values or something, and the LED was quite uh, good when I was uh, rotating the, um, the potential. Actually, I can show you. I can show you one of the first. I believe this is it, and I believe it's a green LED. There, it's exactly, exactly mirror. It's a mirror circuit. What I'm having there, I'm having here exactly the same circuit. Only these uh, uh, potentiometers are placed. This is placed differently, but it's the same, absolutely the same circuit. And I believe uh, this LED from here is more responsive to dimming uh, than uh, this was here. So, as a reminder, let me put uh, this aside. Let me show you this again. How was how this was working? This is positive here. This is negative here. So it wasn't that good when I was dimming this. You see, this is maximum. This is kind of minimum, which uh, it didn't, but not really. <laughs> it uh, is shitting itself. But it, it is doing the, the PWM, actually. And this guy here is doing it a bit more better. This is maximum, this is minimum. And you can see, so that green LED is getting very, very bright and very, very dim. And this is done exclusively with PWM and it's also driving the motor. Well, that is working. <laughs> okay. And finally, this is a, a 220 volts circuit, a blinking LED, LED using a transistor. And it says here, I, I had some problems because uh, I used 500 microfarads. And you have, you really have to use a 1000 microfarads uh, for this circuit to work. And uh, yeah, I fucked it up and I didn't know why it was not working for uh, quite some time. I, I scratched my head a lot. So it will not work from the start. We will have to wait a little bit, but uh, after uh, like 30 seconds or something like that, it will start to uh, blink uh, directly on 240 volts. Hopefully nothing will blow up. So like I said, we'll have to wait a little bit. Oh. I shit myself. So this, uh, uh, it's only the, 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 um, the capacitor charging. Uh, that's why you have to wait a little bit in the beginning. And uh, it's working absolutely fine. And look, that is blinding, absolutely blinding that uh, uh, the LED power is fantastic. It's very, very strong. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, uh, and closing it off from there and taking it out and taking taking it out from this and that's it. And uh, yeah, pretty much this is it. Uh, a little bit of uh, of nostalgia. Uh, actually, I have two more guys here. I have this guy and this guy. Uh, but first, this guy. Uh, this was a transistor tester. I built it myself. Don't ask me how is working because probably is not working anymore but here i was putting the transistor and, <laughs> and these are actually four potentiometers here you see it's there are four potentiometers you can see the potentiometer there and you vary something i have no idea and you, you watch that led doing something i have no idea what was the circuit that i was but i built it with my uh, my own design i believe and uh yeah, it's looking funky but unfortunately i will have to take it out and uh, uh destroy it and recuperate all the components that are still uh, good because it's uh, too big and really I never use it. I use it once or twice and uh, after that, never before. So that's uh, that's that prototype. And by the way, uh, if you were wondering how I was testing uh, before, before having this variable, voltage variable, uh, switch mode power supply, this is how I was working using transformers. I believe this is a 12 volts, I remember right, or nine, 12 or nine. And uh, this is how I was testing uh, all those circuits back in the days, very, very hard. And when, when I got this variable power supply, Holy fuck! I was uh, not only amazed, but I could do, I could, I could uh, get good on electronics actually, and learn way more faster than I was doing it before. It was dangerous with with, with transformers, with uh, with mains here that I I usually I was lefting them without uh, without securing them, um, uh, you know, 
proper isolation and everything. Uh, I was li leaving the bare wire, uh, and I, I did electrocute, electrocute myself a couple of times uh, using. Uh, I, this uh, was not the only transformer that I use. I use other transformers as well, but mostly this is how I was making uh, uh, experiments, uh, the electronic experiment. It was hard with this kind of stuff, uh, doing it like this, you know, uh, before having access to variable power supplies, pretty much. And uh, the hard way, this is the hard way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I hope you like it. Uh, and uh, if you like it, leave a like, motherfuckers. And uh, say thank you <laughs> for showing you some piece of history. Not uh, that uh, beautiful piece of history, like those very ugly chickpeas that I'm having there. But uh, I don't know, it's, it is, uh, a side of truth. How other people, other people uh, like me, uh, was uh, they were working before the a lot of good stuff came in, like variable and the all the commercial uh, stuff that we see today. You know, uh, the abundance of, of stuff uh, that is uh, still uh, av available, and hopefully in the future will be available as well. I'm not sure about that in the future. In the future, I believe in the future it will be much more harder. But uh, well, we will see. You no, know? uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how I worked. And uh, not only me, other people as well. All right, thank you very much. This was quite a long video, and I hope you like it. And um, yeah, bye. 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 bye.